Hi everybody, Tina here with Two Chicks and a Cricket and we are doing our Valentine's Day card series and we're going to be using these items right here for our next card. This is going to be a really simple one and I kind of have ended up using this stamp set from my pink stamper, Levelicious, for um, I think all of my cards I've used this particular stamp set for and it was just it's kind of just been a coincidence like I've just sat down to like do a card and I've looked through my stuff and I've been like oh I'll use the stamp set and I don't I have a couple of her stamp sets and I don't use them very often but this I I ended up using this one for all of them so I'm just gonna be using some Stampin' Up black ink and then a creative memories punch and then this is just some random cardstock I had. So let's get started. This is going to be a um, different size card. It's not a usual size that I usually work with. But I like this size and what I'm doing is it's going to be a six by four and a quarter. So usually what I'll do is I will take and cut an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock right in half at five and a half and that will create a five and a half by four and a quarter card. But what I'm doing is I'm going to cut it right at six inches. And that gives you a six inch by four and a quarter card. So that's the first thing we're doing and then we're just going to fold it and get a good crease and let's zoom in so you guys can see whoops so you guys can see closer what I'm doing so you have this card and then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take a piece of black cardstock and I've already cut this down and it is I forgot what I cut it at it's at one and three-fourths and I'm gonna put this right at the bottom but I have this piece that is at one and a half and it's gonna go on here and I liked this paper this is really simple if you're gonna do a lot of them I like paper like this that has the words because you can just use strips of it and then you get a lot of use out of your piece of paper and it makes things really simple. So I'm going to attach these two things. I'm just doing it right at the bottom with a little bit left over. I've been finding these Ad, um, Ad Tech tape runners. You guys see me use these quite a bit, but I have been finding them at Marshalls and Ross and four packs. I found, Wendy and I went out last week and we stopped by a Marshalls and I wish I had had a little bit more money because I would have got every single one that was there. There was about 10 packages um, of, and they had four tape runners in each package for $4.99. So that's amazing. So I'm just attaching that. Uh oh, that's the baby I hear. I have to pause. I made this a little too long, so I'm just taking my scissors and clipping it. That's all. It just it was a little mistake on my part. So I have this part of the card, and I told you guys this is gonna be super simple. I'm going to take and use my Creative Memories punch. These are great punches. They are um, really sturdy, you know, really solid punches. So I just wanted to do three. I'm doing two in one size and then one in a smaller size. And I'm just going to set these aside. And then I'm going to take my stamp and I'm gonna use this Levelicious down here. And I'm gonna kinda do something different, not something that I normally do. Uh-oh. That would be Violet, that's crying. Something's going on out there. She'll probably be coming to my door in a minute to tell me. Yep, here. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. 
All right, so I'm gonna take a basic black color. It happens to be a Stampin' Up! one. And I'm gonna do something a little different than what you might usually do on your card. So instead of just stamping one little stamp, I'm gonna stamp this multiple times. And I'm just going right above the last one I stamped. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist. It's a little bit difficult. So I think about five will fit. Yeah, so I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so that came out perfect. Um, so I'm going to set this stuff aside. And then I have these hearts. And they're big enough I can just use this tape runner on it. And then for this last heart, I'm going to use a pop dot. Oh, I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to use two. And there is your Valentine's Day card. Easy and fun so that's my valentine's day card for today and thanks for stopping by the blog today and we'll have a few more we'll have them all through the week so sunday it started on sunday and we'll have them all the way through saturday i believe saturday or sunday so thanks guys for stopping by the blog and we'll talk to you later